With this video, I want to introduce you just briefly to a couple of additional special senses. So first of all, the sense of hearing, which we're all familiar with. And then secondly, the sense of equilibrium, which is less familiar to most people. In order to start to introduce you to these two special senses, I want to talk about um, some of the structures within the head that are responsible for detecting both equilibrium and hearing. So all of us know that you hear with your ears, and so it's no big surprise that we've got a picture of the internal structure as of the ear here. But one of the things that you should know is within the ear, we also have our structures that are responsible for the sense of equilibrium, which is our sense of posture, our sense of balance. And in particular, these structures in the ear responsible for equilibrium are really important for your ability to detect the equilibrium of your head or the position of your head. So in introducing you to the sense of hearing and the sense of equilibrium, we need to talk about structures that are located here, deep within the air or in what's known as the inner air. If you look at the air itself, what we can see here on the outside makes up a component of just what's known as the outer ear. So the fleshy portion, the lobe that you see out here, as well as this canal structure, the external acoustic hiatus, are a part of the outer ear and their job is to funnel sound waves down in here to the middle ear. Within the middle ear we have these kind of funky looking structures so we've got one two three of the smallest bones in the body which are responsible and important for transmitting sound waves across what's known as the middle ear and then over in here we've got some very strange looking structures one kind of looks like a snail shell and then we've got some semicircular canals. There's actually three of them, but you can only see two of them just based on the perspective that we're looking from. And it's here in the inner ear where we have those structures, those receptors that are responsible for detecting sounds, so allowing us to be able to hear, and then also the structures that are responsible for uh, your sense of equilibrium and particularly the sensation of your head. This little snail-like structure, snail shell-like structure here is what's known as the cochlea. So cochlea is a Latin term that means snail for obvious reasons. And this is where the receptors for hearing are actually located. Over here, these structures are known as the semicircular canals. They're filled with fluid. They're really important to, to de detecting the position of your head. So helping you to know um, the position of your head and giving you information about equilibrium, posture, balance in the body. You'll have a chance through other videos and the activity that you're doing this week to learn about hearing and how it actually works and some of the structures within the air. And so I don't want to talk about that too much more. I do want to introduce to you more um, the sense of equilibrium because this is one that people tend to be less familiar with. And I think there's a good reason for this. We know, all of us, what it's like to live without the sense of vision because we see things, we close our eyes, vision goes away, and then we know we can't see something. We can plug our ears and we can manipulate our ability to be able to hear. So we know what it's like to be able to hear well, most of us, and we also know what it's like to not be able to hear as well if we're plugging our ears. So vision, hearing, some of these other senses we can turn off, we can turn on, and that makes us aware that we have them. Equilibrium is a sense that there's really no way to turn off. It's always there, it's always functioning in the background, and because none of us have ever lived without it, it's hard, of us, hard for us to even recognize that we have it, that it's there. But again, equilibrium is our sense of posture, um, our sense of body position, um, our sense of balance, basically. There are three body parts that collaborate together to help us to be able to maintain equilibrium or position of the body. So one of these is the eyes, and I want you to think about why this would be. If you're standing upright, straight, perfectly balanced, not leaning to one side or the other, the world looks different than if you've got your head tilted to one side or your entire body's learning to one side, leaning to one side. In that case, things start to look different, right? Things may be skewed in one direction or the other. So eyes really give us our first information as to the position of our body. 
if our head starts to tilt, things look different in the world around us, and that can let us know we need to straighten back up. Proprioreceptors are a special type of receptor that's found in tendons, ligaments, joints, and muscles. These are stretch receptors, so they're responding to stretch in the body, and proprioreceptors work along with the eyes to give us information about the position of our body. If I reach out my leg or I reach out my arm, proprioreceptors and those structures are going to detect that stretch, and I'm going to feel that movement and know that the position of my body has changed. If I am standing and leaning off to one side for whatever reason, I'm going to feel a stretch in muscles in my core, in my back, that are going to let me know that I'm a little bit off balance and maybe I could straighten back up. The third structure that's responsible for um, working together to give you a sense of equilibrium, posture, balance, is the vestibular apparatus. So the vestibular apparatus is this structure that sits right here that consists of these semicircular canals. It's physically attached to the cochlea where we've got the receptors for hearing. And I mentioned before that this vestibular apparatus is filled with fluid, and as that fluid is moving through these canals, it's giving you information about the position of your head. You're going to do an activity in the folder that goes along with this section that helps you to see how the eyes, proprioreceptors, and vestibular apparatus all work together to maintain balance in your body. And the way that you're going to do this is by standing against a wall, and having somebody draw lines that are perpendicular to your body and in line with your body on the wall. And then you're gonna stand there for two minutes or probably you could get away with shorter, 30 seconds, whatever, with your eyes open and notice if you sway back and forth. So if your body crosses over that line you drew when you first started standing there. After you watch that for a while or have somebody watch it for you, then you're going to do the same thing again, but with your eyes closed. And what you're going to find with your eyes closed is that you're going to sway a lot more back and forth. So your posture is going to go from leaning in one direction to standing straight up to leaning in the other direction to standing straight up. And the reason for that is your eyes are no longer giving you information on the position of your body because you've closed your eyes. And with your eyes closed, you have to rely on the proprioreceptors and the vestibular apparatus in your head to tell you when your position is askew. With information coming in from just those two structures, the proprioreceptors and the vestibular apparatus, you tend to be a little bit off balance more often than when you have all three structures that are working together. But these are the organs, these are the structures in the body that work with the vestibular apparatus to help you have an understanding of the position of your body in space and help you to be able to maintain balance.